welcome in. We are with 10 orders going out the door. Nice light day, which is awesome. Uh, Cause we gotta go set up a storage unit after this. So that's what we're gonna be doing. But we'll hang out, we'll pack up these 10 orders real quick and then we'll get moving. What's up Karina? Um, SD, what's up? Welcome in. 10 orders going out. I think one Poshmark, one Mercari and the rest are all eBay. Lots of eBay sales. Packing orders too. What's up, Trisha? Cindy's in the house. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate everybody hopping in. You can watch on any platform if you want. I'm on TikTok. I'm on YouTube and I'm on uh, Facebook. So feel free to watch on any platform. I'm actually going to move you guys right there. It's a little bit better, a little bit easier for me to see the screen. Ruby, what's up? eBay is the goat. eBay is the goat. That's where I get most of my sales. <clears throat> Blingy, good morning. What's up, little Mac? Little Mac's in the house. Bestie. 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 All right. Got 10 orders going out. One Poshmark, one Mercari, one, uh, are, and the rest are all eBay. Um, some good eBay sales, too. Some really, really good ones. So I had one sell this morning. That was really good. What's up, David? Uh, where you buy your shipping supplies? All my shipping supplies are linked in my bio. You can purchase them through my links. Uh, most of them are purchased from Amazon. I do get some of like the eBay poly mailers that you'll see later. I get those direct from eBay. Good morning, Kirby. Um, I get those direct from eBay, but I use my quarterly coupon. I got some on the way actually right now that I just ordered. Um, but yeah, all the stuff I order, it's all linked in my bio. Plant Life, what's up? Ashley's in the house. What percent do you promote your listings at? I promote everything at 3%. Play with it a little bit. Don't just go straight for the 3% like I do. Uh, make sure that you're testing it out and seeing what works best for you. I know some people that promote at 10%. Some people promote at 5%. Some people do the baseline 2%. I chose 3% because that's one tick above the 2%. And that's pretty much what everybody does. Everybody will do the lowest amount. And I want to do one tick above that. It gives me a little bit of advantage. Uh, what's up, JP? Good morning from Freeport, Florida. Um, did I hear y'all got a storage unit? No, we're going to get a storage unit today. Uh, we got the, the winter clothes that I've been holding. Um, they're kind of taking over the garage now. And I want to get a temperature controlled storage unit. So that way I don't have to worry about those getting damaged in any way. So uh, we're going later today. We're going to take all those. And then we're also going to take the trains that I haven't listed. And we're going to pack those in the storage unit too. And then slowly take those out over time instead of having them just sit in the house. So uh, did the buyer counter on that sweater? No, they haven't countered yet. But that's... The reason I countered, and I, I wasn't going to take that offer anyway, I had just listed it. So that's a good sign that I listed it at the right price if somebody's already trying to come in at a lower price, like literally like 45 minutes after I listed it. So I'm going to, uh, even even if they don't accept it, it's not a loss because I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell it for full price or close to full price. I live in Oklahoma. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First sale is going to be these women's Spanx leggings. These are a size small. Normally these go for more for us, but these were a size small. Sold for 22 bucks. We only paid $2.14. So after fees, shipping, cost of goods, we make $12.28. This was a Mercari sale. So all I'm going to do is throw it into one of these envelopes. If you're interested in these envelopes, again, I get them from Amazon. You can get them uh, through my link. This is what they look like. Make sure you're checking the colors because the purple ones were actually cheaper than all the rest when I bought these recently. So sometimes it's just a random color will be cheaper. It doesn't make sense. So from Pompano, Florida, nice. eBay fees will damage you. Italian people, no, they won't. Italian people, what I want you to do is I want you to go, I want you to go do some math and figure out how much it would cost you to open up your own store and then factor in the fact that you're not going to have a million plus people every single day or millions of people every day being um, able to look at your items. Then factor in your insurance, your overhead, the cost for, for employees, all that stuff. Do all that stuff for me and tell me that that's not cheaper. eBay's not cheaper than those fees. Because if you come out with that math being better, then your math is way off. <clears throat> Next up, we got a helmet laying. This is brand new with tags. These are super slow sales. I picked these up like a year plus ago, but I got them so cheap. So I don't mind picking them up if they're going to sit for a while. I paid $28.88 for this. This one sold for 70 bucks. So after fees, shipping, cost of goods, I make $27.12. About how many of those winter clothes do you think you have a stockpile right now? I probably have over 100 easily. What's up, Dennis? Dennis is over on Facebook. Appreciate you hopping in, Dennis. 
So this is a Poshmark sale. So all I'm going to do is throw it into one of these envelopes and then I'm going to ship it out just like that. Kelly says, hi, Kayla. Hello, not that Kelly. It's a random, it's, a, it's another Kelly. It's not our normal Kelly. My sister's name is Kelly. Hello, Kelly. She probably thought it was my sister who said that. That did kind of throw me off. Yeah. Second I know that by the way you said it, you're like, hi, Kelly. <laughs> I was like, oh, you probably think it's the, the R Kelly. Uh, it will cost you more money and less traffic if you have a storefront. Exactly. 100%. So those of you who say eBay is fee bay, eBay's fees are pretty much comparable to all other platforms. Pretty much all platforms follow in about, about the baseline, same fees as each other. So there's not like one that's 10 times better than the other one. You get a bunch more sales from the only one you could say that is probably Amazon, but still Amazon fees are higher. I'm not a random Kelly. Yeah. You're not a random Kelly, but you're not my sister Kelly. I got skunked at a garage sale this morning. Ouch. Ouch. That sucks. Uh, morning guys. How many items sold today? We got 10 items going out, 10 items going out. Next up, if you guys were here yesterday, you know I already so I sold one of these yesterday. Sold another one today. These are 511 Tactical Cryptic Hats. Um, I got these at Red, White, and Blue. I paid four, $4 a piece. This one sold for $15 plus shipping. I still have like four more to go. Not the R. Kelly. I got what you said there, Dennis. No, not R. Kelly. Laurel, no. Laurel didn't sell. Not yet. But that's okay. Somebody asked me that earlier, sir. So I said uh, it hasn't sold yet, but that's okay because it's a good sign if I just listed it and it already had an offer. So I kind of don't want to sell it too fast. I want to sit on it for a minute. So typically, I uh, shop thrifts five days a week. No, no, no. We only go um, two, like sometimes two days a week. Like this week, we only went, um, uh, we only went on Wednesday. So that's it. Do you thrift other than clothes for resale? Yeah, we do some um, other things, but mostly we do clothing just because. Uh, we're limited on space and clothing just takes up the least amount of space, Hannah. So that's why we focus more on clothing. How much for y'all? How much for y'all usually move Frank and Lat? Eileen for it's a good brand, Mac, if you found that. Um, Frank and Eileen, bigger sizes, we normally um, sell between uh, like 40 and 50. The smaller sizes are around 35. Do all untucked uh, plaid shirts sell? Um, yes. Uh, everything sells. Just matters on the price. Um, untuck it if it's a bigger size. I normally list it for around 35. If it's a lower size. I normally list around 25. It's going to go out for seven ounces and it's in an eight by six by four box. So all I have to do is throw that into eBay, eight by six by four, and then throw in the um, weight, which is seven ounces. And buyer paid six forty five for the shipping, and I only I'm only paying four dollars and twenty four cents, so I'm making a little profit on the on the shipping on this one. Um, just got back from Miami. You guys have some great inventory in Florida. Yes, we do. Florida is the mecca, the mecca for thrifting. Did you get Storm Junior yet? No, we're getting it right after the live, Scott. We're gonna head over there, and we're gonna get our storage unit. And we're going to store some stuff in it. We'll probably move some stuff throughout the weekend to the storage unit and get it out of our, uh, get it out of our hair. Um, I sold the knife. He returned it. Um, I refunded him no issue, but eBay is dead. Is that normal? Um, no, when I get returns, it doesn't like kill my sales for the day. Uh, I normally, I normally get more sale. I, well, I shouldn't say this. I see an uptick in sales as soon as I send a refund. That's normally what happens for me. But um, I don't think it's anything like if you get a return, eBay's going to like, you know, stop sending you traffic. That's not what happens. What's up, Amy? I was making 7000 a month and now dead. Maybe you just have the wrong stuff listed. I don't know. I'm, I'm selling uh, 10 plus items every single day, but I'm selling on multiple platforms too. So maybe you need to cross list your stuff. Next up, we got a Ralph Lauren uh, piece. We did this the Surf's Up uh, way. We paid three dollars and twenty-one cents for this. We sold this really fast for seventeen ninety-nine plus ship. I just listed this last week. Let me see how much this weighs. Can you grab me a tissue really quick? My nose is all runny again. This is going to be fourteen ounces. So, what percent you uh, do you promote everything at? I promote everything at three percent. Posh is doing great. Um, so weird it wasn't. Yeah, send out offers on eBay. Um, I've been using the auto posture for um, D list and the, the recreates. And that has been doing really good. 
Um, obviously, it's not out for everybody yet, but I've been testing it for her. And I actually sold something this morning that was recreated this morning that has been absolutely dead. And it sold within hours of it being recreated. So that's been working well for me. I wipe my nose off camera. I guess YouTube saw that, but I forgot YouTube was able to see over there. <laughs> my nose has been running all morning. <clears throat> all right, this is going to ship out for 15 ounces. Can you explain the surf up method? Surf up method. Okay, so for Ralph Lauren items, and we're trying to, me and him are trying to like brainstorm other brands. Like, I think like, oh, uh, you saw that, Dennis, my bad. Um, um, we're trying to figure out other brands like Lacoste, I think is a good one that might uh, work for the surf up method. Um, so basically what it is, is you get a brand that you're already touching at the thrift store, but you normally would pass. But if you can make a $10 profit on, you're going to pick it up because you can flip it really fast. If you can list it for seven, 15 to $18 plus shipping, you can buy it around $5. After you list it with shipping, you're going to make a $10 profit. So I started doing that with Ralph Lauren pieces. If you guys didn't see the live last night on TikTok, I picked up a bunch of Ralph Lauren pieces locally and a bunch of them I'm going to use the surf up method on. So you might as well list them. If you're already touching them at the thrift store, you pick them up for five, you list them, you make a $10 profit within a week or so. And then you take that money, you do it all over again. I'm actually thinking about making a YouTube series. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to do that very soon where I just use the surf up method on everything in my store. So all the Ralph Lauren pieces that I find from now on, I'm going to open up a separate eBay store. I'll put it in my bio so you guys can watch it um, and I'll make a YouTube series. So I'll literally have two stores. One's going to be like really quick flips and the other one's going to be my normal listings and everything like that. I'm going to see how quickly I can grow that store just based off of low end items that you quick flip. You take real quick photos, real quick um, description, you throw it up and you sell it super fast. So I'm thinking about doing that because that'll be a way for like newbies to like start up. They don't want to invest a lot, but if they can find Ralph Lauren pieces for five bucks at thrift stores or garage sales or estate sales and stuff like that, and they flip them really quick, um, that's, a, that's a way to really increase your capital super fast. Yes, I do po post measurements when doing the surf up. He does photos of his, but I can't do photos because I don't have a flat lay. Um, I'm thinking about even doing it his way and just taking photos on the ground in here. And really making it quick. What's up, Wiki? Wiki's over on YouTube. Appreciate you hanging out, Wiki. eBay has gotten expensive with their fees. Fees are fees are fees. Every platform is going to try to figure out a way to tax the sellers. But trust me, if you're if you're complaining about fees, just please look into how much it costs you to open up your own storefront. Your fees will be astronomically higher. You probably won't make a profit for a while because of how much fees you have in a storefront. So to be honest. It's minimal. There's minimal overhead to run in this business. If it's 13% fees is what's going to drive you away, then you're not in it for the business anyway. You're in it to make as much money possible and you're in it to, to just suck all the fees away from eBay. Like that's, That doesn't make sense to me. Um, there's fees everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. And let alone customer acquisition costs. That's what Elliot says. Yes. Just to advertise, go look at how much it costs to advertise on like the radio and the newspaper and all that stuff before you even open your store. Like just to get people in the door is super hard. So yeah, you won't find a bigger reach in eBay and Amazon hundred percent. Next up, we have a pair of Carhartt work pants. These have been listed forever. These were something that were delisted and relisted. And then I got a $25 offer on these. So I took it, I paid six ninety five dollars for this. Um, so I'm still making a profit, but at least uh, uh, I'm moving it out the door. These have been listed for a while. I don't know why these took so long to sell. They're a nice pair. They're a little bit faded, but that's like normal for Carhartt. People kind of like Carhartt that are faded. Um, but yeah. Took a while to sell. At least it's going out the door. Six ninety five. I'm not making a ton of profit, but getting them gone. We get free advertisement around here. What stores do you thrift at in Miami? We went to the Red, White, and Blues in Miami. So, would you pick up Tommy Hilfiger for a quick flip um, uh, or not? I wouldn't, because even Tommy Hilfiger, it's it's not something like uh, Ralph Lauren, like. Tommy Hilfiger has really dropped off. If I listed a Tommy Hilfiger piece for $14.99, I think it would still sit at $14.99 plus shipping. So Ralph Lauren will sell Tommy Hilfiger. No. So Hannah, I would pass on Tommy Hilfiger. I know it's a brand that a lot of people tend to like think is going to sell well and they'll pick it up at thrift stores, but Tommy is like dead. Tommy Bahama, not dead. Tommy Hilfiger, dead. Can you just uh, explain why, why D-list and relist? Yeah, D-list and um, what, what Auto Posture does, it actually D-lists and it creates a brand new listing for you. So what that does is it gives your item a brand new item ID. 
And what that ha when that happens, eBay thinks you just listed a brand new item, but technically you didn't. So if your item has been listed for, let's say, a year, your item is pretty much dead. It's all the way at the bottom of search. Somebody will have to scroll all the way down to find your item. And if you guys shop on eBay, you probably know on the first page is where you pretty much keep your eyes. You don't really go to the third or fourth or fifth page. So when you do a delist and a, a delist and a recreate or a delist and a sell similar, what that does is it gives your item a brand new ID. So that way you're back at the top of search. That's why you do that. You can also drop the price too um, via um, auto, auto posture. It'll drop the price for you. That's what I've been doing. I'm gonna drop in all my old items by 10% eBay shipping, how do you figure that out and list that? So I figure out that um, I basically guess what the price of shipping is going to be. And I'm pretty good at it since I've been doing it for a while. Like I knew this was going to go padded flat rate. So I knew this is going to cost $8.30. I had these listed for $35. I took the $25 offer. So I'm not making as much as I thought I was going to make. But that's how I do it. I know this is going to go padded flat rate, $8.30. If it's first class, it'll be somewhere around five to six bucks, depending on how much it weighs. And of course, where's it, where it's going. So same for Posh delist and relist. Poshmark's a little different. If you delist and relist on Poshmark, the only advantage you get is you're going to be on the just listed page. That's all that's going to happen. Um, if uh, the the thing with Poshmark you need to do is you need to share. But with Auto Posture, it has a free sh uh, it has not a free share, but it has a share feature. So it'll share for you to everybody. Um, it also sends out offers too. So if somebody likes your item within 10 minutes, it'll send an offer to that person. So that way you can capture that sales, um, too. Have you sold Johnny O polos and shirts? How do you rate the product? Um, I have sold those. They're not as good as like Peter Millar, Travis Matthew, G4 items like that, a miscellaneous picker. So I normally sell those for around like 20 to 25 bigger sizes, of course, do better. Um, but I haven't sold a Johnny O in a while. I haven't found a Johnny O in a while either. They're kind of harder to find. Um, what's the best form to sell? And I sell mostly on eBay. Like today I sold one on Poshmark, one on Mercari, eight on eBay. Yesterday, I think I sold like, I think I, we packed up 16 orders yesterday. I want to say like um, 10 of them were eBay and the rest were either sold directly to viewers or they were on Poshmark or Mercari. I can't really remember how many I had yesterday though. At Posh Sidekick, um, check also checking out Auto Posture. You should um, just give it a try. There's a free trial with Auto Posture. See how you like it. Next up, these are, I think they call, they're called agave jeans. Um, these were a size 38. I only paid $4.28 for these. These sat for a little bit. I got a $32 offer. I took these. I think I had these listed for 45. So I don't really care. $4.28 into uh, 32. Um, really good sale right there. These are probably going to go padded flat rate because these are going to be over a pound. I think I have them already set. Yeah, they're going padded flat rate for $8.30. How do you figure out what's the best day to go to a thrift store? That's a good question. Um, you have to really check at your thrift stores in your area. Um, our Goodwills and our, our Salvation Armies and our Red, White, and Blues are all different. So for us, Red, White, and Blue Wednesday is the best day to go because that's when the tags change over. Um, best day to go to Goodwill in our area is Sunday because that's when they mark the new tag um, half off. Um, Wednesdays are the best go day to go to Salvation Army because that's the day they have half off all clothing in the store. So it really depends on your area when they run their sales. Um, also when they stock more frequently. So some stores, they only stock like three days a week, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they're constantly stocking. So those will be the best days to go. And then maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they're limited on their employees. And those are the days that they're stuck at the register all day. So Really got to test your area. See what see what uh, your area is. Your area is going to be completely different than mine. So, do you make money as a reseller influencer? Yes, I do. I do make money as an influencer. But um, if I were to give a percentage of how much money I make being an influencer and selling on, it's like maybe five percent of my income comes from being an influencer. <laughs> like I I got five TGIFs right now on this live. Um, that equates to three pennies. So I made three pennies on this left. Um, how's it going? I've been busy. Um, it's not been able to watch um, so often. Uh, when I go to thrift stores, I see a lot of jeans. I only really know Levi's, but think we're picking up Levi's. I personally never buy. So Levi's, there's certain models that do good. I'm not a Levi, Mickey. I don't really know Levi's too well. There's other people in the community that do, and there's probably videos online that'll teach you about Levi's and what models to pick up. Um, I normally just go for vintage or new attacks. 
those are like the two I go for. I have a Levi's jeans that sold on this live, so I'll show you what they are. But they're not vintage. I believe they I got them from a bulk buy, so that's why they sold. So I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but I'm not the guy to teach you about Levi's. I don't, I don't know too much about Levi's. I don't know too much. Next up, this is... Appreciate the cap. Now I've made 50 cents. Let's go. <laughs> um, this is a Tommy Bahama shirt. I actually bought this off of uh, Kitty Cat's Whatnot. Uh, my sister's whatnot. I paid $25.15 after all fees and everything associated. And this sold for $35. So I'm not making a ton of profit, but it was a way for me to support her. And uh, yeah, because I'm a good brother, I supported her. That's the last time I'll ever do that. But yeah, 20, uh, 25 into 35 I mean, after fee shipping cost of goods, I'm basically going to break even on this. I feel like those thicker Levi's will sell. Yeah, thicker ones, they're salvage Levi's that do pretty good. Um, it's really, if you want to learn about what Levi's sell best, you should just do, uh, Mickey, you should go on eBay, filter for Levi, uh, just type in Levi's men's blue jeans, filter for used or pre-owned and then filter for sold. And then also filter for $50 and up, and then go through and see what styles you're seeing consistently over and over and over again. If you're seeing 501, 501, 501, 501 made in the USA, then you know, when you see a 501 made in the USA, that's probably going to be a $50 sale. Do you buy pallets? No, we don't do pallets. No pallets at all. I'm not a pallet guy. All right, this one's shipping out for 11 ounces. Where's it going? Hopefully it's going close. That way I make a little, little bit of money. Oh, of course, it's going to where is it going? California. Who would have guessed? $5.33 going to California. I have two Tommy Bahama shirts and they won't sell. Um, most likely, they're not like this. You need to be picking up Tommy Bahama heavily floral print Hawaiian shirts. If you saw that shirt, it has floral all throughout it. It's a crazy pattern. It's a hundred percent silk. It's a, uh, it's what people think of when you think Tommy Bahama. Also, you need to price it right. And you need to take really good photos of Tommy Bahama shirts. If you want to see my Tommy Bahama shirts, just go to my eBay store. It's linked in my bio type in Tommy Bahama at the top and look how my photos look. That's what sells my Tommy Bahamas. Not the fact that they're Tommy Bahamas. Next up, Brooks Brothers, women's Brooks Brothers. This one was brand new with the tag. I thought this was men's because it was in the men's section. I didn't look at the size, but that's okay. It's new with tags. I paid $5.34 for this, and this one sold for $31.50. Would you be interested in designer bags? Probably not. Uh, we're still learning like designer bags, and a lot of times designer bags are faked, and we still haven't learned how to authenticate them yet. So we are not the person for um, those kind of bags. Can I ship shoes and envelopes? Or should you can ship shoes and envelopes? You, normally, if you're going to do that, it's going to be sandals that you're going to ship in envelopes or padded flat rate envelopes. Um, I wouldn't just ship a regular pair of shoes because that will uh, they could potentially get damaged in shipping. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? That's a good question, Chris. Everybody in everybody in chat, what's your favorite ice cream flavor right now? I want to hear it. Kayla's is mint chocolate chip. I'm not a cons. Um, connoisseur of ice cream i barely ever eat it to be honest um but the one i like is ben and jerry's what is it it's the um Ooh, the fudge brownie fudge brownie oh, one yeah, it's like the good. double fudge brownie one or something like that that one is that one is good like if i'm gonna go get ice cream i'm gonna go get that one um i don't really have like a vanilla or chocolate i'm more of a vanilla guy if i go any chocolate route or any uh, ice cream route but um chocolate i'm not a super big fan of chocolate unless it has brownie in it then i'll eat the crap out of it green monster mint oreo fudge that sounds good key lime pie mm -hmm. she doesn't like key lime pie i can eat some key lime pie i like that i like i like how you think hagen i haven't had hagen in forever um thrifty double chocolate um malted crunch there's a thrifty ice cream <laughs> what my mind is blown um, moose tracks. Moose tracks is good too. Yes. I like moose tracks. I used to eat that when I was younger, all frozen dairy, um, brown butter and toasted pecan and rose gelato. Mm. Maybe we'll have to go get some ice cream after we do the storage. And now you guys are making me want ice cream. I never eat ice cream and I want ice cream. Cookie Thanks Monster Chris. Cream. Cookie monster ice cream. Yeah, that's good. Ben and Jerry's half baked is good too. Yes, that is good. I like it. Ben and Jerry's just, they're the goat of ice cream. All right, so here are the Levi's. This actually doesn't, oh, it's a 569. Levi's 569, these have been listed for a while. I paid 534 for these and these sold full price, $29.99. I think these were recreated by Autoposher. I have to check that after the live. I'm pretty sure these recently were, either today or yesterday, and then they sold today. So 
really good um, auto posture. Hopefully these were recreated by them. Um, I'm pretty sure they were because these have been sitting for a while. And uh, I know the next item was today. It was this morning. So ice cream for breakfast, you won't. It's actually 11.14, Chris. So technically my kids are eating lunch right now at school. So if I was a kid, Chris, I would be eating lunch too. But ice cream for breakfast, yeah, that's that, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what that's what you can do, Chris, when when you work for yourself. You can just go out and eat ice cream at you know eleven thirty in the afternoon. Let's go. All right, these are shipping uh, priority mail, padded flat rate, eight dollars and thirty cents. Uh, what is your storage and organize organization method? So everything we have, I'll show you in a second on the next item. Everything has an item, um, a custom SKU on the outside. So for example, the next item. Hold on, let me grab it. The next item, it says Z9. I know it's backwards, but over on you guys, it's not backwards. It says Z9. So I have a bin out in my garage. It's labeled Z. It's on a rack. So I just pull it down. And on the inside of that, everything is numbered and it's all in order. So when I go to pull this on the top, when I pulled this one, Z10 was on the top. It was another um, St. Croix sweater. So all I had to do is go right underneath that, grab Z9. Everything is lettered and numbered. And then all of those are in my eBay custom SKU. So as soon as something like this sells, all I have to do is go to my eBay custom SKU, look at where it is in my inventory, and then go out there and pull it. Um, to pull these 10 orders this morning, it took me less than five minutes to pull all 10 of these orders. So if you have an inventory system, highly suggest having it. It makes your life 10 times easier. You won't be losing items and digging through piles every day to try to find stuff. So what's auto posture? How do I get it? Auto posture, I have a link in my bio. If you sign up, you get $5 um, for free. Right now, the eBay recreates isn't live yet. She's trying to work on it. She did release it and then she had to pull it back down because there was an issue with eBay. Um, but it should be up within the next week or so. Appreciate you, Lorenzo. Should be up within the uh, next. By the way, I hope your uh, kiddos are doing good. I saw your video on your uh, kiddos and how you were at the hospital a lot. So good to have Lorenzo back. Lorenzo is awesome. So if you're not following Lorenzo, he's right up here. And also follow Southern Treasures right there too. Um, but he, uh, auto posture, what it does for you right now is it shares on Poshmark for you. It recreates listings on Poshmark and Mercari for you. Um, and it sends out offers, shares, does all that stuff. Um, that's what it does right now. Within the next week, it'll do some eBay recreates. So that should be out pretty soon, hopefully. That's up to eBay, not up to auto posture. Um, why is my coffee not waking me up? It took me a while to wake up this morning, too. I was super tired. But what time did you wake up? I woke up at 10. So technically it is morning for me, Chris, but it's actually afternoon. I normally don't eat breakfast, so I go right for lunch. Next sale is this St. Croix sweater. This is like a Coogee-esque sweater. I found two of these at um, red, white, and blue on the same day. I paid $8.56 for this. This was recreated by Auto Posture this morning. It was dropped 10%, so it was at $69.99, and then it got dropped to um, $62, bucks, and somebody... Uh, basically bought it outright right after that. So this sold for 62 bucks. It was dead in the water. It wasn't moving. It got recreated this morning and then it sold. So this is the kind of stuff that auto posture is going to be able to do for you guys. It's going to recreate listings. It's going to take your old listings. It's going to bring them back up and search. And then you're probably going to sell them. Hopefully if you have the right stuff, of course, this was a good item. It just was dead in the water for some reason, got boosted again. And then the person was browsing this morning. It must have been right at the top of search. And they're like, hey, I like that sweater. Let's buy it. So there you go. Really good sale. Are you having fried pickles for lunch? No, we had fried pickles on uh, Wednesday. We go out with Ethan to uh, to Red Robin. That's like our normal like pattern every Wednesday. And Ethan comes with us. And we had fried pickles then. So uh, I need a, a straight up espresso shots to wake up. Maybe. But I don't like espresso. So. But 856, this sold for 62 bucks. Um, I think I'm gonna have to throw this padded because it is a little heavier. Where is this going? Oh, it's going to Puerto Rico. So yeah, it's definitely gonna have to go padded. I am not gonna ship this in a box because it's gonna be hella expensive to try to ship in a box. So we're gonna put this padded flat rate. I'm gonna squish it down and then throw it right into the padded. Starting to eBay, um, was it starting eBay? Was it slow to start or did you see results right away? Um, it was slow to start because I didn't really know the brand. I didn't have brand knowledge that I have right now. So it was all like a learning experience. But if you watch a lot of videos and you learn the brands before you start or try to get a good knowledge base of the brands before you start, you'll do all right. Um, the more items you have, the more potential you have for a sale. So obviously it's going to take a while to get a decent sized store. 
Um, but just try to focus on picking up the items that are, are good. Sorry. How do you verify authenticity of a Burberry polo? Um, if you don't know how to, if you don't know what the tag should look like, Ricky, what I would do is I would just look online for um, fake versus real Burberry. Just type that into Google and you should find some uh, results. How many years have you been reselling for? I've been reselling for, this is my, I'm going on my fifth year. And September of this year will be my fifth full year. Ethan pays? No, we've paid every time for Ethan. Because Ethan's Ethan's awesome. We tell him he's like our kid. Every time we go out to eat lunch, we pay for him. And he's okay with it. Of course he is. But Ethan's cool. We like hanging out with Ethan. So we pick each other's brain. It's more of like a, uh, it's more of like a, um, networking kind of thing we just get to hang out with him talk to him he teaches us about shoes because he's the shoe goat he knows all about the shoes and uh he's an awesome dude i don't mind paying for him there it is it's packed up it's going to puerto rico eight dollars and thirty cents how much money do you think you've invested in the entire business over the years i've been doing this oh i don't know um i'd have to look back at my tax sheets to see like my uh my inventory costs every year to figure out exactly what I paid. But then I'd have to also figure out what I paid for supplies and all that. And all of my programs. Um, hang on. Let me see. Hold on. I can give you a rough number, but I'm not, let me say, tell you this. I don't have any debt. So it, all the money I've invested has been cash. I don't, I don't invest any debt. I don't like go out and get a bank loan to run my business. So hold on. Um, I could probably tell you, um, that's the wrong spreadsheet. Hold on. Um, last year, my cost of goods total for last year was $75,077 and 41 cents. But again, I didn't use debt to get that. So basically I used the money that I already had in my bank account. And that has gone up every year. So the year before that was probably like 50K. The year before that was probably like 25K. The year before that was probably a lot less than that because that was one of my first years I started. So last year I spent 75K on inventory, um, but I also sold 234K worth of stuff. So I never use debt for, for what I do. And I, I highly suggest you don't use debt either for what you do. So it's not like I'm in the red. I, I, have, I have money in my bank account, so we're good. Um, just want to say, I'm proud of you, how much you've grown in the past year. Appreciate you, Reisner. Reisner, you're, you're awesome. You, you know, all the stuff, Reisner, you should be where I'm at because of how much knowledge you have. What happened to Kings of eBay? He had a back surgery, Mark. He had back surgery. So he'll be back. He'll be back. You legit pay for Ethan. He's a grown. I do pay for him, Chris. I don't mind. Chris, if I, if you go out to lunch with me, Chris, I will hundred percent pay for you. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I'll pay for you too. Let me know when you're in town. Cash is king, 100%. There's Jason Hayes, by the way. He's the guy that makes the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet that we, I mean, I literally used the spreadsheet. Well, I didn't use his spreadsheet to figure out the, the cost for last year because I didn't use a spreadsheet last year. But I did use a similar spreadsheet. But if you want to know um, the spreadsheet that I use on a regular basis to go over my sales and figure out my profit and loss, he's the one that makes it. It's linked in my bio. So if you're interested in purchasing it, that guy right there that's sending me the TGIFs. Ethan pays for me. I make, <laughs> you're that type of guy. Well, I'll pay for you too, Chris. I don't care. I'm paying for Wayne and Kayla next time I see them. There you go. See, it all goes around. When we pay for somebody, they pay for us back. It all goes around. That's what friends are for. Um, is Ethan on TikTok? He's not. He's on Instagram. He's um, at the college reseller. I believe that's what his name is. Is it the college reseller? I think it's the college reseller. It is. There's there's two of them. So I follow two. I call I follow the college reseller and the college picker, I think, is the other one. No, I think he's the college reseller. Yeah, his name is the college reseller. Here, I'll flip the screen. I'll show you guys over here. That's his handle. And then I'll flip it here. Whoops. Come on, why are you not flipping? There you go. That's him right there. College reseller. This guy knows a ton about shoes. So if you're not following him, it's the dot college reseller. He's no longer in college. Um, his, his name doesn't fit him very well, but he knows his stuff about shoes. He was just on Dealing with Dalton's podcast recently. Or, well, his uh, not his podcast, but his um, his channel. They did like an interview kind of thing. So go watch that over at Dealing with Dalton. It's a really good like interview. 
And I guess they're planning on maybe making a podcast, him and Dalton, which would be awesome because both of them are really knowledgeable people in the reselling community. So, um, yeah, go give him a follow. Yeah, he just says he's in college, so he can get free meals. <laughs> That's a good one, Chris. <laughs> oh, Chris, you got me. You got me. I'm buying the spreadsheet. Thanks. Yeah, it's awesome spreadsheet. Everybody in the community that has it loves it. I haven't heard any complaints about it. When you buy the spreadsheet, you literally get a YouTube video that explains how to use a spreadsheet. So if you've never used one before, Jason has an awesome video. Um, it's it's a longer one, but you'll learn everything about the spreadsheet before you even use it. What kind of sorting system do you have? Sorting system, like how we sort our stuff as we get it in. We don't really have a system. We basically... Um, I pull put, I pull it out of the bags. I put um, men's items in one pile, women's items in one pile. And then I put jeans and pants in another pile. And then we pull from those piles and we list that way. So um, I got interested in eBay reselling. Thanks to Harry tornado. Um, they're a great reselling couple. Yes. Harry tornado is awesome. Um, I love watching their videos. I like watching his videos, not as much for like bolos and things to be on the lookout for, but I like watching his videos for the editing aspect because his, I mean, obviously his channel is one of the biggest um, and reselling. So I like to like try to find ways to mimic him, but not do it the same exact way. But he, uh, their, their channel is awesome. Ooh, these are winning. It's a fixed sale per month. These are winning choice. Ooh, nice. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and head off. We got to go get um, looking at a storage unit to store some of the stuff we have in the garage so we can make some space and get some more shelves. So then we can put some more items and more bins, yada, yada, yada. So appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll be live tonight. Chris, I got to talk to you, by the way. Um, if you're not busy tonight, we might have you on live. Uh, we might do a, a K-Way four-way if you're interested. Um, but I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll be live tonight over on TikTok, hanging out, um, answering some questions, all that good stuff. So appreciate you guys hanging out. Catch you on the next one.